Here's our next example. Um, we want to find the area of a region that's enclosed by three lines. Now I've drawn the three lines sort of dashed here so that we can highlight the region. You can kind of see it, right? Here to there to there. Okay. And you can probably guess those points of intersection, but you can also, you know, you can check by plugging things in. So it looks like this is at about x equals 1, and it should be the intersection of these two lines. So let's just test that. So here, if x is equal to 1, I get y is equal to 2. Here, if x is equal to 1, I get 5 over 2 minus a half, also 2, right? So this is the point 1 comma 2. If x is equal to 2, I get 3 here, and I get 3 here, right? 7 minus 4. So this is the point 2, 3, and it's the intersection between those two lines. And finally down here, if x is equal to 3, then this is 7 minus 6, that's 1. And here, if x is equal to 3, I get 5 halves minus 3 halves, also 1. So this is the point 3, comma 1. Okay, so those three points are the vertices of our triangle. It kind of gives us the, uh, the extent of our region. And now we want to try to set up an integral. Obviously, we've got to make some choices here. How do we want to set things up? Integrate with respect to y, integrate with respect to x. Well, however we do it, we're going to have to, we're going to, have to do this as a pair of integrals, right? Because if I, if I integrate with respect to x, then the top, curve changes midway through, right? I've got to divide it up into two pieces like that. If I wanted to integrate it with respect to y, I could do it, but then the bottom curve is going to change halfway through, right? So whichever way you do it, you're going to have to split it up into two pieces because you're using different lines for boundaries of the region in different areas. We already have y as a function of x, so it's going to be a little bit less work to kind of do it the way we've got it set up. So we've got region one, region two, and we're gonna we're gonna split things up. Okay? That's how we're gonna do it. So region one area is going to be what? We start at x is equal to one, we end at x is equal to two. And for x between one and two, the upper curve is x plus 1. The lower curve is minus 1 half x plus 5 over 2. And so we clean this up. We have x plus half x, so we have 3 over 2x. And then we have 1 minus 5 halves, so 1 minus 3 over 2. Not so bad. Okay, so in fact, if you want, you can factor out the 3 over 2, integral from 1 to 2, x minus 1 dx. And depending on how clever you want to be here, you can either integrate term by term, x squared over 2 minus x, or you could, you know, do power rule with a simple substitution, a very simple substitution, and say, hey, this is going to be uh, 3 over 4, x minus 1 squared, evaluate from 1 to 2, realize that the lower limit doesn't contribute because you're going to get 0, um, and 2 minus 1 is just 1, so we get 3 quarters for that first region. Second region, x is going to start at 2 and at 3. Upper curve is now this one, minus 2x plus 7. Lower curve is still this line, minus 1 half x plus 5 over 2. Okay, so again, clean it up, 2 to 3, so we have minus 2 plus a half, so we're going to get minus 3 over 2x, and then we have 7 minus 5 over 2. Okay, so 7 is 14 over 2, 14 minus 5, we get plus 
9 over 2. And if you want to, you could, again, you could factor out a 3 over 2. Integral from 2 to 3 of 3 minus x. You could do it like that. It's up to you how you want to do it. Okay, can we squeeze it in? Let me, let me finish it over here. So the second area is going to be 3. If we do kind of the same trick we did here, right, we can just do a power rule integral on the whole thing. But watch out that you get a minus 1 this time from chain rule substitution. So we get minus 3 over 4, 3 minus x squared, evaluated from 2 to 3. Okay. And you might be worried about the minus sign, but that's okay, because notice upper limit, we get 0. So 0 minus, minus 3 quarters. And then 3 minus 2 gives us 1. And so we get another 3 quarters there. And so the total area is the sum of the 2, right? So the total area is going to be 3 quarters plus 3 quarters, which is 3 halves.